Hi, my name is Tim. This video accompanies the web page about columns and rows on the OS College website. Here's the link. The video demonstrates how to add and delete multiple columns and rows at once. The sections of this video are insert rows, delete rows, insert columns, and delete columns. You can insert rows above or below a row. The first step is, is to select the same number of rows that you want to insert. In this example, I will insert two rows above the row with shark, bird, and ant. First, I click on a, click on a cell in that row. So I click on shark. Then I hold down the left mouse button, and then I drag the mouse downward until this cell below shark is selected. So now I have shark and snake selected, those two cells. Then I will use one of the insertion me methods discuss discussed on the page. I will use the sheet menu, highlight insert rows, and then click on rows above. As you can see, two, two rows have been inserted above the shark, bird, and ant row. You can use this method to insert multiple rows in your calc documents. You can delete rows that are either on top of each other or separated by other rows. In the previous section, I demonstrated how to select rows that are on top of each other. Use this method to select rows that you want to delete. Then click Delete Rows in either the Sheet menu or the Standard Toolbar. You also can use the right-click method discussed in, on the page. To select rows that are not, not on top of each other, first click a cell in the row you want to delete. I will click Elephant. Then hold down the control, control key if you are using Windows or a Linux distro. Mac users need to hold down the Command key. Then use your mouse to select cells in other rows. I will select Snake. Finally, use one of the methods discussed in, in the page. I will use the Sheet menu and click Delete Rows. As you can see, the two rows I selected have been deleted. You can use this method to delete multiple rows in your calc documents. You can insert columns to the left or to the right of a selected column. The first step is to select the same number of columns that you want to insert. In, in this example, I will insert three columns to the right of the column with frog, beetle, ant, and praying mantis. First, I click the cell that says dog. Then I hold down the left mouse button then I drag the mouse to the right until the two cells to the right of the dog cell are highlighted along with the, the dog cell. Then I will use the sheet menu method to insert the columns. So click sheet menu, highlight insert columns, and click columns right. As you can see, three columns have been inserted to the right of the column with frog, beetle, ant, and praying mantis. You can use this method to insert multiple columns in your calc doc documents. You can delete columns that are either adjacent or separated by other columns. In the previous section, I demonstrated how to select columns that are adjacent. Use this method to select columns you want to delete, then click Delete Columns either the sheet menu or the standard toolbar. You also can use the right-click method discussed on the web page. 
To select columns that are not adjacent, first click a cell in the column you want to delete. I will click Dog. Then hold down the Control key if you are using Windows or your Linux distro. Mac users need to hold down the Command key. Then use your mouse and select cells and other column, columns you want to delete. I will click Frog. Finally, use one of the methods discussed on the web page. I will use the sheet menu method. As you can see, the two columns I selected have been deleted. You can use this method to delete multiple columns in your calc documents. This video demonstrated inserting and deleting multiple columns and rows in LibreOffice Calc. It accompanies the rows and columns web page on OS College's website. Thank you for watching. Click on the subscribe to OS College channel box. Also click on the link to go to the OS College website and learn more about, about rows and columns or about other aspects of LibreOffice.